MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Welcome to a very special MTD podcast because today we're at the Engineering Technology Group's premises, their permanent trade show. So, Paul, Joe, welcome along. Thank you, you for joining you me. Found it all right today. I did. I was. I was. Well, I was on time according to Paul Jones' time. So. So you were late. Yeah, two hours. <laughs> same day at least. Yeah. True. Yeah, wrong week, but same day. Anyway, moving on, guys. Um, events and videos. What have you been up to? Okay. Well, to start with. Um, I was going to mention a company in Coventry that I went to visit called Arrowsmith and I went on behalf of Lead Machine Tools. They supply the Leadwell machining centres and turning centres and this company was a real endorsement for Lead Machine Tools. There's not many companies you go into these days that have, uh, you know, that they just buy one brand of machine but this particular business has so much loyalty to Lead Machine Tools for one reason and that's because they're good machines and they work well for them. Uh, and while we were there, we took that's the opportunity. Two. Is that two reasons? Yeah, I can't count. I never, been, never have been able to. Uh, and the, the second reason is the fact that they have got this new range of V-series machining centres, and they're far more rigid. They've got a bigger Y-axis, and they're higher performance machines to their predecessors. And we did a review on those, so we did two videos in that company for Leadwell, and they're really good, so worth a watch. Yeah, I've done one for Zoller. You'll know Zoller from their preset and technology, arguably the market leader. Um, but also they offer many different things and we reviewed their TMS which is a software solution. It, um, basically the hub of it would be a tool presetter but that can link to your various software you know, seats around, around the company. You can load your, your programs in there for your machine tools, you can link it to your vending machine so the op there's no, no operator can't pick the wrong tool up and scrap a job and things like that. You know, it's quite high end stuff it's, and you wouldn't necessarily associate Zola with that. Easy to use? Absolutely, yeah, idiot proof. What, pulling? Did it, did it? Well, I said idiot proof, but maybe not Colin. But oh, like I say, it's predictable, gentlemen. Predictable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You, you, you saw it coming. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I've been to Cosworth as well in Northampton, and uh, we were there on behalf of Matsura, who have recently installed in a new facility there for very high performance horizontal and five axis machining centres all within uh, an automation uh, environment with fast ems and it's a complete solution which uh, you know it was really something else and the video on that is 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 a must watch because automation is looked upon as being something for people that are doing mass volumes and production and this video just shows that actually that isn't the case they do very low quantities and automation is their key to success okay whilst on automation we uh, commissioned a video for tame work holding like a corporate type video and their place is full of automation. They've got uh, two five-axis Matsuras with a Lang tower automation, and they don't necessarily produce volume either, so it's a good point well made. But it's a good video. It shows you everything with, within their business, everything from the reseller of you know, some, some pretty good equipment, you know, your Lang system, what everyone talks a lot about, but also you know, the subcontractors as well. They make jigs and fixtures for people. They do a lot a work you, you wouldn't necessarily associate them with. I, I sold them a Dayu Horizontal Machining Centre all those years ago. Is it still there? I think it is actually. Yeah. Okay guys. I Any was more? in Ireland, I was in Ireland uh, a week or so ago and or a couple of weeks ago we went to an open house for the Engineering Technology Group and it was a really good exercise. We interviewed John McTurnan and he told us all about the, the uh, models within the Hardinge turning range mm -hmm. Really good interview with John, came across really well. He's a very technical, very technical guy and a really good uh, ambassador for, for Hardinge. Um, so we did that at the Engineering Technology Group in Ireland. We also did an event video which showed how busy actually and how successful the business is over there for ETG. So that was really good. Yeah, um, loads, but one I want to mention, well two in fact. You the can't one count you, either. <laughs> the ones you did with Alistair from DTS. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Again, yeah. there's a corporate video. Um, and something I learned there, they actually do like a, a diagnostic fault check on the internet. It's a bit like Skype, I guess. And you actually dial into it and you actually speak to a, you know, a human being within the UK as well, which is very important. And you can actually diagnose like 90% of faults over, over the internet. So rather than having to wait for an engineer to drive out. Absolutely. If your exactly. machine breaks down or there's a problem, mm. we, we did it there while we were there. Dennis came up on the iPad from his uh, remote location, wherever he was. Mm. And, uh, and he fixed the machine. Or well, was it the age I'll turn it on and turn it back off? It probably, probably was. Right, right <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know if it was any different, but 
that was that was good. Uh, whilst you were there, you did the uh, review of the Pro Design Five Axis Machining Centre. Mm -hmm. Very good machine. It, it, they're still under offer as well. So have a look at the website. Speak and to they, DTS. Had, they had those machines without the guarding on, which was brilliant because to look at a machine, to an engineer wants to see a machine yep. without the guards on because it shows you the casting, it shows you whether it's box guideway, linear rail, roller slides, whatever it might be, you can see all those those um, those areas. So so that was good. And it's educational, all joking aside, you all learn a lot from it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now Go any on. more or well there's always more, but I know okay. we, we need to um, move on. Yeah, move One on. Aside that just just come to, come to me, and this is more stroking your egos, I'd say, gentlemen, you're actually being recognised now. Aren't you the guys who are doing the MTD videos? Is that right? You've yeah, had a few all the people time. come up. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even even in uh, with the AMRC the other week and yeah. we had guys walk to the door and they looked at him and, and me and said, Duh, you're you're the guys that do Excellent. the vodcast. So it works. So it, yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah. Twenty eight thousand views a month, Colin. Oh, you, you know, it can't all be wrong. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no autographs yet. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Need to learn to write first, I suppose, gents. Anyway, moving on. Now, what about events? I know you've been out and about. Yep. Where have you been? Uh, we've been to Dorma Primat. It was they did it alongside Herco. Uh, it's a good event. There's Dalcam, there was Herco, and obviously Dorma themselves. And, and the, the demonstration on show was great. It was good for the machine tool, it was great for the cutting tool, and it was great for Dalcam. It's this new Vortex strategy, which we talked about last month slightly. But it, it's really good. You'll learn a lot. It's a good video, and it, I learned something. So, yeah. Yeah. Went to the Haas Open House, interviewed Pat Fenn. This was seen as the official launch of their UMC 755 Axis Machining Center and it was a really successful show for Haas. They don't have shows very often, but they had over 100 visitors over a, 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 a few days. So that was a really good event. In fact, we've done two or three videos on that, so it was good. Okay. We had the Affordable Technology Day at uh, Noon Machinery, yeah. which is obviously on behalf of Ajax. They're the northern distributor for all of the Ajax brand. That was good, well attended. Cov University, been there on behalf of Goering, and. Uh, Really, really, really good uh, educational, actually. Uh, I've never been to a university before, as you probably gather. <laughs> yeah. But uh, No comment there. The, the, uh, I learned a lot about cutting tool technology as well. It's available from Goering. They had a Haas machining centre with Goering tools, and they had students there that were learning about the process of machining. We videoed that, and uh, Goering loved that video, mm -hmm. didn't they? In fact, uh, Cov Uni did too, so that was a good, good event. Again, a very busy month. What about events that are up and coming? You start, Joe. Yeah, up and coming. We've got the Matsura VIP Open Days, as they're calling it. You know, I know Ian Mitchie spoke to him the other day. He's got lots of people coming to it, you know, as always at Matsura. And that is 19th, 20th and 21st of May. Mazak Open House. And this Open House is all about the smooth technology, which is the new control technology they offer, uh, which I've been told when I was in Mazak uh, a couple of days ago, that this control can actually improve production and reduce cycle times by up to 35% as a direct result of the control. So uh, it's definitely worth looking at and uh, a visit to there. Absolutely. Yeah, the 600 UK, they've got an event coming up and there's also STAR as well. It's an introduction to, okay, it's at STAR, but it's sliding head technology in general, more educational. And they're in June and along with that in June, what we can't forget is obviously where we are here today. We've got the permanent trade show, which yep. is and the June. dates are? Joe? I know exactly what the dates are, gents. 10th, 11th and 12th. Yes. Thank you. Yes. That's As if we didn't know. Absolutely. But that's going to be a brilliant event here. Yeah. This is obviously the start of it. It's all going together. Yep. Um, and I think that when you're looking for a company that has got lots of different types of machinery that can service you know, different markets, then this will be a good event to attend as well. As we know, MTD continues to go from strength to strength. So uh, what new partners have you got to the site? Yeah, the, the business is growing, isn't it? It, it? It's evident anyway. But but we've got MA Ford, which is a cutting tool specialist yep. that now are using our marketing services. We've got PTS, who sell the L tool uh, range of driven tooling products. Mm -hmm. They are now part of what we're doing. Um, we've got HK Holdings, which used to be HK Technologies, which is an EDM machine supplier, along with other equipment, which Joe has been dealing with uh, more than myself, but again, they're a new client to us. Sure. What uh, about just, just oh, on sorry. the HK side? Yep. Huge, there's, some, there's, there's a press release coming any day soon, and it's it's huge. It's and we're also missing somebody. Mark, where's he? Oh yeah, yeah, he's travelling today. He's uh. actually in Europe. We've got we, not the, his bike. No, 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 <laughs> he wouldn't get that far. Um, we, uh, we we are seeing a demand actually for our services, not just in the UK. It's almost an overspill into Europe. So Mark's actually at the oh, moment fantastic. he's in Europe talking to a potential client with uh, some marketing services so yeah he can't he can't be with us today but i'm i'm sure he'll be following us on twitter brilliant so 
the site continues to grow strength to strength. I know Reach is what, 75,000 now? Yes, 75,000. Absolutely yeah. fantastic figure, that really is. So what we're going to do, I know one of the reasons we're here at ETG today is to speak to Martin Doyle. And I think I just heard him. Well, surprisingly enough, you can hear him I about a mile away. But I can see him. Yep, there he is. So if he wants to join us, Martin. Hi, Martin. Here he is. Hi, guys. Hi, Martin. Martin. So Hi. one of... Martin, good afternoon. So one of the main reasons we're here today, really, Martin, is to find out about the business, ETG, and talk us about the site and how things are really going. So, really, over to you. Okay. Well, thanks for having us, guys. And, well... Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Could be the other way around. Um, yeah, ETG going great guns at the moment. Obviously, seen lots of growth over the last couple of years. Um, and we not I wouldn't say we've outgrown this place, but... Um, with the different divisions we've got in the company now, it's time to, to do something about it with the operational side. So we have a lot of turnkeys and that going on at the moment. So we've opened Wellsbourne, which is our operations facility, um, which has allowed us really to, to create a, a, this permanent trade show, um, a showroom where our customers can come and visit us and kick the tires for want, want of a better word and uh, yeah, see what we're all about. And, and how is business? Uh, yeah. Good, very good. Um, touch wood, it will carry on. Um, we had quite a large uh, forward order book coming into this year. Uh, lots of turnkey, large turnkey projects going on. Um, they've been delivered throughout this quarter. In fact, that's delayed a few things as well that we was looking to do, i.e. the showroom and the Wellsbourne. Uh, so getting them in place now. But um, yeah, so it's... And how are you good. coping with all the stress of this expansion? Um, Who's saying I am? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's the world we're, we, 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 we choose to live in, isn't it? You know, and machine tool world, it's... it's uh, but it is, it is, it's evident, and people say in the market how, how much the business has grown recently, yeah. that the brand has grown, the business, the, the amount of machines you sell, all that's grown. And, and, and mm. with that, obviously, with that expansion comes challenges. Yeah, for, for sure. And we recognise that. Um, you know, you, you have to bring all parts of the business along at the same sort of speed. And so the more mas machines we sell, um, let, well, let's face it, you know, we're talking mechanical parts here, so things do go wrong. So our service, our backup and support is having to, to, to come up uh, behind to back that up. And, and that's a big focus for us this year. Um, it's all well and good selling all these machines, but uh, you know, the, the, the support, the backup for, the, for our customers is paramount. So that's a big focus for us this year and again talking about Wellsbourne that's going to help us do that. Great and I must compliment you and your team on this facility, why have you gone for it, what's the idea behind it? Um, as I say I th it's, it's one of them things we've been wanting to do for a number of years now but really haven't had the, the time with everything else that's going on in the company, the time to just crack on with it and um, we'll, we obviously represent the premium brands in Nakamura, the Chirons, Hardinge, Quasars, um, and people like to come and see the machines and, and have demonstrations on the machines uh, that are relevant to their parts. So the idea of this facility is that they can just do that. It's not, it's not like a, a, a just a one or two, three day open house. It's a permanent trade show, so this can, the machines are gonna be all tooled up, ready to go at the drop of a hat if anyone wants to knock on the door and come and, come and have a look at one, one of the machines. And, and with the mix of your machines, mm -hmm. would you say that, is, is there anything you can't offer? You've got the Hantman, you've got the Harlings Bridgeport, you've got the Nakamura, yeah. Chiron. Is, is, there a, is, there, is there a company that could come here and you would go, actually, we can't do that? Um, well, the, 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 the specs of machine tools are so vast that we've got the permutations of the different types of machines. So we're going from right from entry level tool room turret mills, if you like, the old uh, Hardinge or the Bridgeport turret mills, um, right up to the, as you mentioned, the, the big Hantmans, the big gantry type machines, uh, multitasking Nakamuras um, and the super quick Chirons. So it is difficult to think of something that we can't do. The uh, I would say, well, the there's a sm no. yeah, the quick answers no. I mean, unless you take into account grinding um, or maybe sliding head um, technology. But that being said, we do have contacts who specialise in them areas that we work closely with and, and, 
and work reciprocal business. You mentioned turnkeys. Yeah. Big part of the business. What's the split? Huge, to that? Uh, huge part of the business. Yeah. It's um, it's what ETG was traditionally known for, um, and hence we have High Four, which is ETG Workholding Division, with a High Four uh, bespoke fixturing and a standard fixturing uh, based over in Coventry. It's a huge part of the business, so the, the customers are coming to us not just to buy machines, but they're getting them all tooled up. The full turnkey element, uh, we like to call it the cradle to grave, so they're not just uh, buying a machine and then having to fixture it themselves. You know, we've got them guys over there which are, uh, well, need to say they're the biggest uh, bespoke um, fixturing company in the UK, and they're very good at it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's a very important part of the business. But, uh, no, just before we go as well, I'd just like to thank you guys for the support that you've uh, given us over the last couple of years on the marketing front. A lot of this and the success of ETG does come down to the marketing and how we promote ourselves. And we're a very professional company and a working professional company like yourself to promote it. So, uh, thanks. Take the opportunity to say thank nice. you. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. You've got yeah. the checkbook okay. there. Checks in the post, yeah, thank you. Lovely, I'll take cash, thank you. So Martin, once again, thanks for your time. Thanks for having us at ATG's permanent trade show. Thank you once again for watching MTD Vodcast. We look forward to seeing you next time. Guys, Paul, Joe, thanks, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Martin. Thanks, Martin. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.